Chat GPT, web design, these are two topics that don't normally go together, but I want to see how AI can be used to improve any type of website, and I've got just the right one. This is my portfolio website, and what I want to do is jump into ChatGPT and see what advice it can provide to help me improve the portfolio, including different sections like my skills as well as longer sections where I fill out details. Now, there are tools out there like Midjourney, which I've done videos on where they help you generate really cool looking AI art. And this AI art is almost stuff that you could turn into website designs later on. But this video will be more focused on the content itself because the content is what makes or breaks a good website. Currently, I'm building this in Editor X. So what I'm going to do is copy over some of the text that I have here. And I'm going to write in a section here about how I'm actually building building a portfolio website and I actually want ChatGPT to help me create the website content for this. I'm going to throw in the title that I have, which is hello, I'm Adrian from Australia, and I'm going to copy over the description I have here. The reason I'm doing this is to initialize ChatGPT with some context of the website itself. By copying over as well as some of the skills, ChatGPT will realize that this portfolio that I'm building is actually one for a bit of a designer and a developer, and it allowed it to have better context when it's creating the content itself. I always like to provide more information and very specific whenever I am engaging with ChatGPT simply because it allows it to produce better results. With that all in place, I'm going to give it a final statement here asking it what I want ChatGPT to do. So here I want the AI to give me some pointers on what I should change, improve or do to make this portfolio website a little bit better. That's actually probably enough and I think here it should give me some general tips and later on we'll see what specifics it can give me and how we can generate those. So as expected, we've got some general things like adding a portfolio section, which I definitely want to do, as well as using some high quality images, which I already have, obviously can't view them, uh, adding some testimonials, which I think would be useful, and I might do that, as well as including a bio, something that I don't actually have, and I think I'll do first, and also making sure that the website has some basic things like it's clean and simple with a mobile friendly design. I want it to be a bit cheeky next and see if ChatGPT can give me a brief introduction bio to the person I am, Adrian Tuarog. Unfortunately, it wasn't able to do this. This is something I've noticed it can do with important and interesting people like say Elon Musk or Steve Jobs, but maybe I'm just not that popular yet. So instead, it actually did ask if it could just have me provide that information and it would produce something a little bit more interesting. So here, what I'm going to do is write out that I'm Adrian from Australia. I do a bit of website development and design. And I like creating websites that are simple as well as clean in terms of design. And I also like working on projects that are unique as well as interesting. From just that, ChatGPT now actually produces a really good bio. The reason for this is that we've given it enough context to understand who I am and what I do. And now it also is focusing in on the fact that I'm creating a portfolio website and has written a section unique to me on that. So here it says that Adrian Tuarog is a talented web designer and developer based in Australia with a passion for clean website designs. This section here is something that I can literally copy paste and plug into my my next part of my website. So I'm gonna to select to create a new composition here. I'm gonna select this one, which looks like it would be ready for a little bit of a bio like this. Here is an example of a bio, and here is where I can literally copy paste that straight in and have this as part of my design. Since it's a bit larger, I'm gonna reduce the text down a little bit here. So I'll set the minimum size as 18 pixels and the maximum size as 48 pixels. And this is more or less ready to go. Of course, it is a large block of text and ChatGPT can't really help me with the design for this. I'd have to do that myself. So this is where I might go through and just make sure that all of these sections aren't so bold, just a few words are. Because if a person's reading this, they might only want to view over the keywords. So I'm gonna select most of the text to be slightly more gray. I'm going to bold out a talented web designer, as well as my skills, which are in HTML, CSS, JavaScript, and React. 
I don't always copy paste exactly what comes from ChatGPT. It's definitely important to update it so it's in your own words. I'm actually gonna use Grammarly here to be able to update some of the wording as well as tones to make it sound a little bit more admiring as well as confident. That's where today's sponsor, Grammarly, comes in. Its free version has comprehensive writing suggestions to ensure that everything that you or AI generates is mistake free and professional. But I've personally been using the premium version for years, which is actually where the real magic happens. It allows me to speed up my projects and my productivity. The premium version goes one step further, allowing me to set a confident tone and suggestions that basically reframes my blogs and emails to sound confident as well as capable and sure. This means I won't say things like, hmm, I think. Instead, I'll say, we can do this. This feature allows me to build better websites and content for my clients and allows me to send better emails to them as well. I use this as part of my YouTube videos too. My script writing has benefited a lot as I write often a bit different than the way I speak. Grammarly helps me bridge this gap, allowing me to have my writing and communication all come across it professionally and clearly for all the content I can make. You can download Grammarly as a desktop application. It's free to use on all sorts of platforms, including things like Google Docs and Gmail, as well as just even Microsoft Word in general. The right tone can play a big difference into your next project or your next email that you write. So give Grammarly a try. I've got my own link in the description below that also gives you 20% off the premium version if you want to try. The next thing I want to do is update this section over here that says, hello, I'm Adrian from Australia. For someone who's landing on this page for the very first time, while the skills definitely showcase what I do, which is a bit of programming, this statement here doesn't really do that very well. And I'm looking for maybe creating something that is a little bit more interesting and specific to the kind of work that I do. So let me copy paste this text and jump into ChatGPT. Using the same conversation, I'm gonna ask to see if it can rephrase this current title that I have, which says, hello, I'm Adrian from Australia and I'm going to prompt it to give me something that's more interesting and that would engage better with someone that is looking to maybe hire me or, for example, just looking to work with me. Here I write, I want something interesting that would captivate and interest new users who land on the page and would be looking to imply employ or hire me. One of the skills with ChatGPT is to be very clear as to what you want. Even just saying, please provide five suggestions is a way of getting more out of it each time you provide a prompt. Here, I've gotten five very general types of statements, things like transforming digital landscapes or building beautiful websites. But I feel that all of these examples here are quite generic and something you would just see on any page. I personally think they're impersonal and I want something more personal so that when someone visits the page, they definitely get a more better representation of who I am and what I do. And I feel these just don't identify very well with me. So this is where you can do some prompt engineering. You can continue to ask ChatGPT to improve on previous examples and you can be very clear as to why you want it to improve and usually it does a pretty good job at improving on those. So in this case, I've asked it for these additional five examples and there is one that I kind of like from this one. It is the one where I'm creating innovative web designs and I think that's the one I'm gonna use, the fifth one over here as a innovative web designer. And this is probably the one that most resonates with me. So all I really have to do now is copy paste this text and then place it into my design over here in Editor X. And this fits in already quite nicely. I'm gonna capitalize each front letter and let it have a line break. And now I think all I need is a very good tagline. But there's a bit of tagline content already happening in a lot of these titles. So I wanna see if I can reuse some of these words but combine them together to create a new tagline for myself. So what I'm gonna do is combine the thing here that says create a simple and intuitive website together with creating a beautiful and exceptional one for businesses large and small. The next thing I wanna do is update the call to action button. Currently, it only says contact me. This is pretty uninspiring, especially with the rest of my content saying that I create unique and interesting and fun content. So what I'm gonna do is create a prompt here for ChatGPT to see if it can give me 10 unique suggestions for something that is interesting and fun and unique. And here are the 10 results. Come to think of it, maybe next time I should ask ChatGPT to make up 100 titles. But this should do. And I already see one that I quite like 
While there's a few different examples of varying length, this one here that says connect with me, I think most resonates with the call to action as well as being unique and interesting and something I'm hoping people will click. So I'll challenge contact me here to connect with me and then I'll make this button slightly larger and all up, I'm quite happy with these changes.